and welcome to Adaptation and our first ever Author Spotlight. This is the start of a new series where we are going to focus on authors that have had a large amount of their work adapted for the screen. And we are starting with Philip K. Dick. No relation to the twins. I have been really excited to talk to you guys about PKD for a while now. I studied him in high school and I thought that was normal and everybody knew about his awesomeness until I started mentioning him to people and they had no idea what I was talking about, which I just thought was terribly tragic. So let's begin. Mr. Philip Kindred Dick, best middle name ever, was born in Chicago in 1928 alongside his twin sister Jane, who unfortunately died six weeks later. But she did inspire some of the themes that run through his novels. He was first published in 1952 when his short story Beyond Lies the Wub appeared in the July issue of Planet Stories. His first novel, Solar Lottery, was published in 1955. All in all, he wrote 44 novels and 121 short stories. And since we're here to talk about adaptation, I'm going to take you on a little trip through his works that have inspired films. First up, Blade Runner starring Harrison Ford premiered just four months after PKD died in 1982, which is terribly sad. It's based on his novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which takes place in a world where androids are pretty much indistinguishable from humans, but they're treated like slaves. And when they escape and try and live and pass as humans, bounty hunters track them down and then retire them. Dick's short story, We Can Remember It For You Wholesale, has been adapted twice. Once in 1990's Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then again in 2012 with Colin Farrell. In this world, technology exists where they can implant memories into your brain. So, if, say, you wanted to go on a vacation to Mars, you could just go to this place, and they'd put the memory in your head, and you'd never actually have to travel to Mars. Of course, you could get there and find out that your brain's already been messed with, and your entire your life is a lie, but, you know, choices. 1995 Screamers is based on the short story Second Variety, where the United Nations basically builds a robot army in order to win the war against the Soviet Union. But the army eventually becomes intelligent enough to repair, redesign, and reproduce themselves. Basically a giant PSA saying, don't ever do that. Please. I hate smart robots. The film Imposter in 2001 was based on Dick's 1953 short story in which a man is accused of being an imposter, specifically an android imposter that was sent to destroy Earth's defenses, and he has to prove himself innocent, if he is in fact innocent. This story was also adapted into an episode for the 1962 British television series Out of This World, which was hosted by Boris Karloff, and I've never heard of it, but I really want to watch it now. Do you remember back in 2002 that Tom Cruise movie Minority Report? Super popular? Yeah, that was a PKD short story. In this one, three mutants can can see the future, and the police use that ability to arrest murderers before they commit crimes. But as we know from pretty much every book series and television show and movie ever, precognition? Kind of a messy business. Occasionally, however, it does work out for the best, if you remember 2003's Paycheck with Ben Affleck. In this short story, an engineer agrees to work on a secret project, and at the end of the time working on it, have his memory erased in exchange for a large sum of money. But instead, his past self decided that a package of seemingly worthless items would be more valuable to him than that money. Turns out his past self was right. Finally, we come to another adapted novel in A Scanner Darkly from 2006. In this novel, an undercover police agent lives in a house with drug users who are addicted to substance D, also known as slow death, in an effort to see who the high-level dealers are. I haven't read or seen this one, but Robert Downey Jr. is in the movie, so Hedge your bets. Back to short stories, The Golden Man inspired 2007's Next, starring Nicolas Cage. Now, in the story, the government is hunting down mutants because they believe them to be a danger to humans. Kind of sounds familiar. They capture the Golden Man, who has the ability of seeing all the possible outcomes of a single action. But instead of killing them, they decide they want to study him. In the movie, however, Nicolas Cage has the ability to see two minutes into his own future, which I think is a really lame translation of those abilities. And finally, we have The Adjustment Bureau from 2011 with Matt Damon, which is based on The Adjustment Team. Kind of traded up on the name. In that, a man stumbles upon the knowledge that there is a team making corrections into how events unfold in order to bring about certain outcomes. Basically, what if fate 
was a team of people playing puppet master with the world. As you might be able to tell by this rundown, Philip K. Dick is primarily a science fiction author who doesn't just make you think as much as he makes you question the entire concept of reality and everything around you. But like, you know, in a fun way. And while the movies I've listed do a really good job of fleshing out the worlds that he created, his original stories are actually very compact and they don't always have solid endings, which leaves it to the reader to make some decisions on their own about what's going on and whether it's right or not, which I am a huge fan of. Like I said, he focuses a lot on the idea of what is real and what is not, also on what it means to be human versus machine, and we can't forget those good old tried and trues like governmental control and societal control. His work is always really smart and thought-provoking. I mean, I could talk about We Can Remember It For You wholesale for hours and it's a 10-page story, but he also has this way of throwing a twist at you when you thought you'd already been twisted. So hopefully this has converted you and now you want to go and read some P.K. Dick if you haven't already. But there's 44 novels and 121 short stories and that's so much. Where would I even begin? Fear not, my loves, for I have got your back. If you just want to get your feet wet with some short stories to start off with, the selected stories of Philip K. Dick is linked in the description and it has all of the stories that I've previously mentioned with the exception of The Golden Man. It even has the story King of the Elves, which Disney has been trying to make into a film since 2010, and I really hope it happens because look how cute the concept art is. If you're less concerned with reading all of the stories that have been turned into film, I'm partial to the Philip K. Dick Reader, which is also linked in the description. It doesn't have Imposter, Adjustment Team, or King of the Elves, but it does have The Hanging Stranger and The Eyes Have It, which are personal favorites of mine. It also comes in paperback, which makes it a little bit less expensive. If you do want to jump right in with a novel, then philipkdickfans.com and I agree that Android's Dream of Electric Sheep is a really good place to start for newbies. They also recommend Ubik, U-B-I-K, which is a little bit on the scarier side and was also made into a video game in 1998. You could also start with The Man in the High Castle, which takes place in a world where the Allies lost World War II, and possibly, hopefully, maybe, is supposed to be a sci-fi channel miniseries, eventually. So go forth and read with your newfound knowledge of how awesome P.K. Dick is, and then come back here and tell us what you thought. And if you're one of those that already knew he was a genius, Genius, let us know in the comments what your favorite novel and or short story is. Make sure you subscribe for future author spotlights and other adaptation content, and hit the like button if you think we're pretty cool. Until next time, keep reading.